Permission needs to be sought for any streets, parks or buildings that wish to change their name after the Queen's death, and it will only be given if deemed dignified and appropriate. The Cabinet Office has said that royal titles are sparingly granted and strict standards are applied so that Queen Elizabeth II's name is closely protected. And it said that communities may be looking to mark her passing and commemorate her extraordinary reign by using her name for example on a park, garden or street. The guidance published this month did say that proposals that include memorial or remembrance were likely to be looked upon favorably. It pointed out, the full title of Queen Elizabeth II will continue to be closely protected and only be granted for applications with strong royal connections. The Cabinet Office has also revealed that an official national memorial to the late Queen is currently being considered. Many places typically use the name of historic royal figures such as the Royal Albert Hall concert venue in London or the Queen Victoria pub in the BBC SC Stenders soap opera. But there is concern that the official use of her name is carried out in the correct manner. Permission to use the title royal, or the names and titles of members of the royal family, including the name of the late Queen, and other protected royal titles is a mark of favor granted by the sovereign, acting on the advice of his ministers, said the cabinet office. At the same time an unofficial statue or portrait can be made subject to normal planning rules with formal approval only needed if there is a commercial interest involved. The cabinet office guidelines stated, to ensure the use of Queen Elizabeth II's name continues to be undertaken in a dignified and appropriate manner, approval will be required. It is suggested that the following information be included in any request, reason, s, why the name is being sought, a history of the organization slash body, details of any royal connections or associations, where applicable, any other information that is considered appropriate. The application should be made by the senior officer of the organization, for example chairman, president, chief executive, or honorary secretary. There are already some projects named after the late Queen, including the London Underground's Elizabeth Line which was one of the last public projects she opened at Paddington Station in May 2022.